Hi, this video is for uh, Scott Grove. Scott, I'm Alan. I was the one that wrote to you about uh, Harpfield Guitars. I don't know if you can see this real well or not, but this is a 1989 RR8. They were made by Fender, and you might want to check into some of these. These are really cool. Um, uh, this this one's all original. It does have a little whammy bar deal here that I, I don't play much with one, so I just took it off. But this guitar is fairly unique. Um, I'll start out with the simple stuff and be aware that I'm not a great guitar player and my videos probably won't be as elaborate as yours. But anyways, we'll start out with uh, the headstock here. Um, you can see the tuning pegs and they're, uh, they're a rendition of a spursel. They, they have the screw here that you tighten down so there's not that much you know, string wound up on your neck there, or neck, you know what I'm talking about, on the on the keys, duh, I'm a total retard here. Anyways, um, it's got a very, very thin neck, and it's, you know, I got a small hand, so it fits, fits me well. And then it has a single pickup here, which is, it's a humbucker, but you split it to become a single coil, and then it's got one other little dumb thing on it that I'll show you, and you'll probably get a good laugh out of it. But they made a, another RR model that was uh, that had two humbuckers in it, and uh, I had one of those for a while and got rid of it. I don't know why. I wish I had a kept it because it was a pretty cool little guitar, and it was all mahogany. But anyways, now I'll get back to this one here. I, I bought this brand new in 89. It came with a hard shell case, and uh, it's just a good little guitar. Um, I'll be playing through a PV Classic 50 that I um, redid the tubes. They're Sobtex because I lost a power tube and went ahead and put Sobtex in it, and I like it. And I'll be playing through a Boss ME70, and the only thing I got set on is just a little bit of compression. But anyways, I'll, I'll show you what this is. Now, um, my jack has some issues on this because I need to go back through it. But anyways, here you go. This is, see what I mean? There you go. Anyways, this is on single coil. It's LED, you know, it's got these little lights here to let you know where you're at. But um, anyways, it's it's powered by a 9-volt battery. And here you go. This is uh, like I said, clean setting. Just good sounding, you know. Now, for humbucker, here you go. little thing I was telling you about for some odd reason they decided that they needed to put some overdrive in the guitar itself this is still set to the factory I haven't you can actually adjust it but I haven't so here you go listen to this <laughs> check into one if you can come across one. They also made a series called Talons that looked like um, almost like an Ibanez, but they had, like I said, they had the real little thin necks and everything. I want to show you one more guitar here before I take off because i seen it in a, one of your reviews and just give me a second here and I'll grab it and you'll, I'll, I'll tell you, I paid a hundred bucks for what I'm going to show you and I've long been a believer in a, you know, PV makes good guitars, you know, they get a lot of guys that 
oh, it's a PV, you know, but you'll see. Just a second here. Okay, here you go. The 81T60, and, you know, I was checking out your review, and you said it's the only year they came in white. Well, different than the one that you got in your video, this one has the maple fretboard. So, and I, I know that doesn't mean that I've got, you know, I've seen your thing with people with rosewood necks, you know, and I, I believe that 100% that they don't know what the heck they're talking about, too. You know, but I like this one for this guitars. Nice guitar. Little chorus on it. It's good. I like it. Thanks, Scott.